I, I would not say it reminds me of the crisis, but we have to recognize now with the Fed pulling back support and, in fact, trying to get to neutral, markets will have the opportunity to behave as markets will. And markets are, day by day, by definition, choppy. So we've lived through a period of less volatile times based upon the uh, underlying support to the marketplace. So I predict we'll see increased volatility in the quarters to come. But it's also very important to keep it in perspective. Dow is not at 3,000. Dow is over 20,000. So a three, 400 point move is just not that significant. So I get your point about the adjustment period as we go into maybe a more normal interest rate cycle. But what about the fundamentals of FANG? Has anything really changed? Or do you still see them as a leadership group, both in terms of earnings and sales growth and markets? Sure. One thing I learned through the years, if you have a high P.E. multiple, you will be more volatile. So the stocks you're talking about generally have high, some very high multiples. So in that environment, in a normal market environment, any high multiple stock will definitely have increased level of volatility. Do you think that the economy is slowing, Bob? It doesn't seem that way at this point in time, but clearly a 3.5, 4% growth rate, it's hard to see that persisting over a long period of time. Uh, but certainly the economy is still doing well by any historical measure and I think generally is growing faster than what will be the long-term projection. So what do you expect in terms of the interest rate policy? And I guess the question for investors, just to come back to tech, is how vulnerable this group is given their expanded P.E. multiples, given the fact that they have been the biggest winners of the bull market. Well, one is you have to understand they have the high multiples for very valid reasons. These are the companies that are growing. These are the companies that are driving the economy. So in many situations, they deserve that multiple. But any time you have the high multiple, people, investors get uh, nervous about that. But I certainly feel very good about their prospects over the long term. And myself as an investor, clearly quarter by quarter, you cannot pay that much attention to. Hey, Bob, how are... How are executives thinking about corporate debt overall right now? Uh, we, we saw some early examples this week of companies that are highly levered, uh, having to make some decisions between addressing that leverage and, say, making capital returns. Uh, is this on people's radar or not? Well, certainly everybody's aware when the tide goes out, you don't want to be caught in an over-leveraged situation. Uh, so you have a moderation of enthusiasm with respect to desire to take on leverage. I think you'll see more conservatism going forward. We are at a latter part of the cycle, so that has to be counted in. So as compared to the, probably the ebullience you saw uh, two years ago, I think you'll see a more conservative viewpoint towards leverage, and not just because the rates are higher, but certainly the higher rates are a factor in that.